In this video, we're going to talk about how we can create an interactive checklist with Excel. In addition to that, we're going to include custom formats and the use of the if function, as well as some other formulas also. So let's begin. In column C, I'm going to write the names of a few individuals. Let's say Jason, Kelly, Lauren, Rachel, and... Ronald. Now to the left in column B, we're going to create the checklist. So first we need to put a developer tab. So let's go to file, options, customize ribbon, and then select the checkbox next to the word developer. And then click OK. So now go to the developer tab, click it, and then press or uh, well, click insert under form controls select the checkbox and then left click any cell that you'll see here. So now let's delete the word checkbox. Now I'm gonna right click it, copy, and then right click again, paste. So let's put the next checkbox here. You could also press control V to paste another checkbox. And let's make one more. So there you go. That's a simple way in which you can create an interactive checklist in Excel. So at this point, if we want to, we can click the checkbox or deselect it. But right now it doesn't do anything. So let's see if we can add some functionality to it. So what I'm going to do is right click and then over here in the formula bar, I'm going to set it equal to whatever is found in A3. So now notice what happens if I check that box. Notice that in A3 it displays a value of true. Let's do the same for the other ones. So let's set this one equal to A4 and then right click, set this equal to A5 and then right click cell B6, set it equal to a6, and then do the same thing for the last one. So now if I select this, it's going to give me a value of true on the left side. If I deselect it, it will say false. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some custom formatting along with these uh, checkboxes. Now what we're going to do at this point is first I'm going to adjust the width of this column. Next, let's select these cells and then go to Home, Conditional Formatting, and select a new rule. So I'm going to select this option, use the formula to determine which cells to format. And then under this section, let's select cell A3. Now, I want the columns to remain an absolute reference, but for the rows, I want it to be a relative reference. So I'm going to take out the dollar sign in front of the three. And then go to Format. And for the background color under the Fill tab, I'm going to choose a light blue color. And then click OK. So notice that any time the checkbox is selected, the color for the names of the individuals will be highlighted with a, a blue background color. And so you can adjust the format of the cell based on whether the box is checked or not. And you could choose any color that uh, you want to select. Now let's add some more information to our spreadsheet. So let's write some sales information for uh, these individuals. So let's say Jason did 30,000 in sales for a given month. And let's say Kelly did 45,000. Let's say Lauren did 23,000. We'll say Rachel did 68,000 in sales. And Ronald did, let's say, 43,000. 
Now, let's put a bonus in this column. And so I'm going to use the if function. So if the checkbox is selected, I'm going to apply a bonus to the sales agent. If the checkbox is not selected, then I'm not going to apply a bonus. So let's use the if function. Let's type in equal if. Now we need a logical test value, so let's select A3. So A3 can either be one of two options. It's either true or false. So if we press comma, notice that we have this section highlighted. So what do we want Excel to do if the value is true? So if it's true, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to say yes. This person deserves the bonus. If it's false, I'm going to select no. This person does not deserve the bonus. So if I select the checkbox, it switches to yes. If I deselect it, it switches to no. Now let's extend the pattern. And let's make sure that everything is working, which it is. So we can see that the formula has been adjusted. So that's our if function. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put some custom formatting uh, to it. So let's go to conditional formatting. I keep saying custom formatting, but I mean conditional formatting. Highlight cell rules based on the text that it contains. So let's say if we get the word yes. Let's go to custom format. Let's make sure the font stays black. And the fill, I'm going to write, not write, but I'm going to select a, a green background color if we get a yes. Let's click OK. Now, let's go back to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. This time, if we get a no, let's choose something else. So let's make sure the font remains black. And this time, I'm going to choose a red background. So if I select the box next to Jason, you could see that he's going to get the bonus. If I want Ronald to get the bonus, then I simply uh, select him. Or let's say if I want Rachel to get the bonus. And so based on whether the box is checked or not, I can adjust not only the color, but also what's displayed in these cells. It could be yes, it could be no, it could be whatever text I decide to write in here using the if function. Now for the next column, let's talk about the paycheck that these individuals will receive. Let's say that each sales agent will receive a 10% commission plus a bonus of, let's say, $1,000 if we apply the bonus. So let's use the if function again. So equal if, and it's based on whatever is found in cell A3. So if A3 is true, we're going to apply the bonus. So it's going to be whatever is in cell D3. So that's the sales that they've generated. We're going to apply a 10% commission. So multiply this by 10% or 0.10. And then plus the bonus of 1,000. Now, if false, then they're simply going to get just 10% of the sales that they generated for that month. So it's just going to be D3 times 0.10 without the plus 1,000. So if Jason gets the bonus, his paycheck will be 4,000. 10% of 3,000 is, I mean, 10% of 30,000 is 3,000 plus 1,000, that's 4,000. If I deselect it, his paycheck goes down to 3,000. Now let's extend the pattern. Let's make sure the formulas remain the same. So just by looking at the formulas here, you can see that they're correct. And something that you could do, you can go to formulas and then show formulas. And you can see that everything matches up. A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. So you can make sure you have the right formulas. So let's go back to this. 
And now let's hide these values. So what I'm going to do is go to home and then I'm going to change the text color to white. So now I don't have to see what's here. So if I select yes, his paycheck increases to 4000 Lauren, she's going to receive 3300 but if I click the checkbox, she's not going to get that bonus. So she, she's only going to get 10% of 23000 which is 2300 And so using this interactive checklist, you can highlight certain colors, you can display certain text, or you can apply certain formulas based on whether or not the box has been checked.